Hi, my name is Devi Belamkonda. I'm working as a technical marketing engineer focusing on Cisco Software Defined Access. Today in this video, we're going to see a demo of how Cisco SD Access environment integrates with Cisco ACI Fabric. Here, in this demo topology, we can see that we have a Cisco SDA headquarters site and a user inside the fabric successfully authenticated with ICE and was assigned a group of four. Here the group is called an SGT which is nothing but a scalable group tag. And we have a server called EPG with a number of EPG1 located in the ACI fabric. Both domains are connected via a fusion router which can be a router or a firewall which helps us do the route leaking between the two domains. First, we are going to see how the traffic between the domains can be controlled by creating contracts on the ACI fabric. Alternatively, we can create policy on the Cisco SD access environment as well and we can enforce the policy on the fusion router which can be a router or a firewall. We create and deploy policies in Cisco SD access environment via a DNAC controller and SD access fabric knows about the source groups and to know the destination group information we build SXP from eyes to the border and by doing that we can enforce the policy either on the border so that the traffic gets enforced before entering the fabric or we can do at the edge which is the default enforcement point in the SDA and this is what we're going to see in the next demo. If you look at this host, this host has been assigned an IP address of 172.16.8.2 and is successfully authenticated in the SD access fabric. And now we are going to ping a server in the ACI fabric. We can see that the ping isn't successful because we do not have any contracts created in the ACI fabric. As you can see here, we have an application profile created and an EPG is associated with this application profile and we can see that we once the successful integration with the DNA center and ACI over ICE happens, we can see all the scalable group information in the EPIC or the ACI environment. And right now, the ping isn't successful, so we'll create a contract. Now we will create a contract between an EPG and an SGT and we will choose the existing contract. And now we are going to see, now that the contract is built, now we are going to see if the ping is successful. Now we'll see that the user inside the SD access fabric is able to successfully reach the server in the ACI environment by creating a contracts. Now alternatively we will see how we can create policies in the SD access environment using DNAC controller as well. Now we're seeing that SD access environment is able to see all the group information including the EPGs and its SGTs. So now this is the EPG of the server in the ACI environment and this is the SGT of the employee in the SD access fabric. Now we are going to create a group based access control using groups from the DNA center and we are going to deploy the policies.
now we are going to choose the source group as an EPG and a destination group as the employee and we are going to deny the traffic between those two once we have created the policy in the DNA center as DNA center talks to ICE the policy is negotiated or the policy is sent to ICE as well over the REST API and once we have created the policy we have to deploy the policy so that the policy is being pushed to the devices inside the fabric and if you look here this is the edge device where the default enforcement is happening if you look at it we will see that the policy has been pushed to the device from the EPG to the SGT and now we are going to see if the traffic is denied between the two we can see that the policy is being denied and the counters has been successfully incrementing you can find more details about this on how to configure it and how it works on the back end in the link which is shared below. Thank you.